What is going on guys, it's Wava here, and today we're playing a game called Kona, and this is supposed to be a very story driven type of game. If you guys watched a game I played last year called Firewatch, that was very story driven, story heavy and everything. Don't really have too much gameplay, but uh, you know, I guess we're just going to jump right into the story and see what it has to say. Oh, guess I'm just driving my truckaroo. Northern Quebec, October 1970. Carl Faubert sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Hmm. Alright, well. Let's go across the train tracks now that the train has passed. They had set up to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. Oh, oh, we got a sharp turn up here. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, look at that, we're surviving. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's something up here at the end of the road. Some sort of bridge? When the roads were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. No, <laughs> just ignore them. All right, we got a picnic table over here. Guess we can just sit down, huh? How often does a road need to be closed to require two picnic tables at his gate? <laughs> I agree. I completely agree. Uh, we got a bird up there. Yeah, why, why would this be closed? Seems like they close it often by the narrator. Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Hmm. All right. Still not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. Yeah, it seems like we need some sort of tool to break that chain. I don't know if I have anything in my truck. Let's check. Uh, oh, deposit? Withdraw? Do I have anything in here? I just have fire starters and that's it. Hmm, I don't think that's going to work, is it? I suppose not. All right, well, we got a big tower up here. I guess we can climb this tower and see what's up here. What's this down here? Little totem bowls with little faces. Ooh. Okay, let's see if there's anyone up here. I doubt there is. If there's not, maybe we could steal something. Try and break open that, uh... That closed path. Hope there's a Quebec flag. Emperor Duplessis, in spite of his conservative agenda, did a good job in colonizing the rural north, which helped to reestablish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. The blue fleur de lise could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there, taunting the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's boundaries. Hmm. Interesting. Now let's continue up. Oh, here's like a fire watchtower. <laughs> Not really. Oh, yeah, there's a box here. What's in the box? <gasps> That's what I need. Let's grab that. What's that? Fire starters? I guess I'll grab that. And there's like a shred up toolbox there. I don't know if I can grab that, but I can see my feet and my, my hands and stuff. That's kind of cool. Uh, can I really not grab that, like, Trip up box literally full of tools? I guess not. All right, well, let's see. Guess I'll just keep heading down there, try and break that thing with the bolt cutters, see if we can get past that uh, path and continue on our road. Uh, is there anything in this trash? Dead bodies? I want to put the trash back in the trash. <laughs> guess I can't do that right now. All right, let's just head over there and try and break, the, break that chain. I don't know why this is chained up, though. Hmm. Is there anyone in this thing right here? Yeah, there's no one in there. I kind of want to... Oh, yeah, there's a telephone. There's a rock. Can I grab that rock? I don't think I can. Let's go inside this building first. See what's inside. There we go. Open that up. What does this say? There's a map and a... Ooh, a flyer. I'll take that. Manistan, it will be good. Ooh. Can I read that? Oh, read it. Uh, Northern Quebec and its inexhaustible resources. The province of Quebec sits on an inexhaustible abundance of natural resources. Why not take advantage of this? Our valuable minerals could travel the world and reach places as far as Dallas, USA. Get involved and invest now. 
Quebec's economic might will be awakened at the heart of the wilderness. The north is swarming with wolves, caribou, bears, partridges, foxes, snowy owls, and hordes of other majestic creatures that are every bit of the equals of Africa's wildlife. We are the Africa of America. Come discover the north and experience a genuine white jungle. Ooh, interesting. All right, guess that's it for that. I guess they have that in, like, I guess French or something. Oh, here we go. The county of Manistan and his people wish to see you very soon. Okay, is that it for the flyer? I think so. All right, there you go. Can I just, oh, I guess I'll just put it back then. <laughs> What's it, what about the phone? Can I call someone? Oh. Hamilton, no doubt, knew who managed the barrier. Carl wanted to give him a call, but that would have been too easy, though, as sure enough, the line was acting up. Hmm. Alright, guess that's it for this. There's the map. I don't think I can do anything with it though, but... Uh, I don't really know where I'm at on this. I don't even know if that's a map of this area or what. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Let's, let's continue cutting the bolts over here, or cutting the chain with the bolt cutters. Ready to go break the lock. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. Would have been easier if... Found a key up there. <laughs> Didn't have to break that chain, right? But, uh, yeah, I guess the guy that works up there might have taken the key with him, huh? Let's get back in our truck and continue down the path. There we go. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. Mm. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Hmm. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man- Oh, oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, no! Did we hit him? I think we did. I think it was just a slight brush. A few hours later. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. Oh no, we're stuck. Can't reverse out of the snow. Man, it snowed hardcore when I was out. Where's that guy at? Did he go? Did he leave? Kona. Or Kana. I don't know how to pronounce this. Okay, we're crawling. Oh wait, no, we're not crawling anymore. Is this guy dead? Where'd he go? Oh man, he crashed into the bridge! What a dumb! The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Was that? Carl needed help. It was a small, locked box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. Is that a picture of his wife? What is this? Hmm, looks like it. Anything on the back? Such heart-wrenching Nordic poetry, that was. But Carl didn't care much about flowery language. Hmm. Isabel, you gave meaning to everything. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Hmm. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin-stinging cold. Oh, jeez, I'm frozen right now. I can't... Oh, there we go. Okay, where do I have to go? Is I get everything out of the car? I think I might have gotten everything right. Seems like it. I don't think there's anything in the back seat. Might as well close the door. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. His life depended on it. All right, let's try and find something. It looks like there's two paths. I can barely see with all this flurry. I kind of want to go down this one, though. There's kind of a... Oh, South Ada, Adamapec. Oh, there's a tower! <gasps> and firewood! Ooh! Let's go inside. Well, let's go. Who goes there? Can I close the door? I'm kind of- I'm, I can't close the door because I'm in the way. <laughs> Try and close the door. 
Oh, I keep that cold out of here. <sighs> Man, it's freezing out there. Lantern's on. Someone must have been here pretty recently, I suppose. There's a little bit of change in that. Oh, whoa. A little bit of change in that ashtray. The chain? Even better than he had hoped, Carl Faubert had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures. Guess I could turn that off, but can I not take the lantern? I guess I have to keep it there, huh? Oh, poison. I don't know if that, oh, I don't know if that guy kept, uh, that poison sign as a souvenir if that actually legitimately needs to be here. Oh yeah, I have fire starters in my truck. Oh, I need to go back and get them, don't I? Uh, there's a can, there's like some sort of molten import. Ooh, some sort of alcohol there, I guess. Can I sit down here and warm up? Oh, oh, start fire. Start fire. Can I use this? Uh, how do I do this? Carl, ever diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Hmm. I have a journal. I guess we can worry about that here in a bit. I kind of want to start this fire. I don't know how to, though. How do I do that? Oh, there's a bag. I don't think I can do anything with that. There's a saw. Looks like preserves. I don't know if there's anything else there I could really use. Okay, is that it? Is that it for this? Because I really need to light this thing. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Uh, what's this? Is that a map? The Polaroid. <gasps> Carl's long-standing and faithful ally has seen a share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. Like a few selfies. <laughs> what else do I have in my inventory? There's a flashlight. Okay. I think there's anything else there, huh? How do I how do I do this? Uh let's see. Documents, inventory, consumable, equipment, journal. Okay, what about inventory? There you go, fire starter. I suppose I could use that, right? Can I not use it here? Yeah, I don't know about that. I have a feeling that might be just nothing. Might want to go out back to the cold. See if we can find anything else here. Maybe go back to our truck. Oh man, it's crazy. Still flirting here. Ooh. What did I just get? Oh, I just got a log. I'm picking up logs over here casually. What about this guard tower? I really want to investigate this guard tower. Is that path? Like, not... Like... Cold turned into pain. Oh, no. Carl needed to find someplace warm. I doubt up there is pretty warm, but I really need to go up there and see if there's anything up there. I don't know how to use those fire... Oh! I have a log now. Maybe I can go back there and throw a log in there and then light the log on fire. Ooh! Maybe that's how it works. Okay, well... Oh, no! Man, we are slow as heck. We can't... Oh, there you go. I guess I was, like, sneaking there. <laughs> That's probably why I was so slow. <laughs> There's nothing up here! You kidding me? Man! Okay, let's go down. Oh, man, that guy has a boat. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Oh, man, it's getting so cold. Let's go. Come on. We finally have firewood. We can light the area up. There you go. Just grab another log. I don't care. Let's go. Ooh, baby. Close it. Close it. There we go. Whew, jeez. Start the fire. There we go. I guess that's all the ingredients we need. The log and the fire starter. And now we finally have fire and heat. Warmth. Oh, it feels so good. Alright. Kind of want to go back to the truck, though. Here pretty soon. Once we actually warm up here. Can I sit down? I guess I can't. Might as well look at my journal, right? Oh, wait. Uh, where's my journal? I don't know. Let's go here. There you go. Journal. Let's see what's inside of the journal. What have I written down? A case of vandalism. Meeting at the general store tomorrow at 11 a.m. The crash. Yep, that was kind of weird. The crash, the cold mystery. The weather is crazy here. And, uh, an error margin of 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Huh. What else is here? Cold mystery. One out of four. Where's all the snow coming from? <laughs> they say the fall is an unpredictable season, but this is something else. Yeah, I agree. Haven't really figured anything else out there. I want to use my camera to... Get some clues here pretty soon, but, uh, right now, don't think I want to take a picture of this <laughs> fire, do I? Alright, do we want to go out again? Maybe go to another path, because we're warming up pretty well right now. Let's go outside. Let's get our camera out. Let's not... Come on, close the door. Close the door. You kidding me? Okay, the heat's going to come out, okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's go back to the truck, come on. We're nice and warm right now. Freshly warmed. I don't know if I want to use this camera. Take a picture of my trash truck or anything, or maybe that car back there. 
He's in bad shape. He needs to heal his wounds and warm up his body before going in further. Can I take anything out of the truck? Uh, withdraw. Fire starter. There we go. Okay, we have everything out of the truck. Kind of want to take a picture of this car, though. Maybe open the door and then take a picture. There we go. Alright, let's see. Take a picture of this. Alright, we took a picture of it. Going to keep that for evidence. Alright, throw away. Yeah, don't throw that away. I just... <laughs> So I just throw it in the trash? Where'd it go? It's gone! Whatever. Okay, let's go, go, go. There is another path over here. Oh man, I'm getting kinda cold. Where does this other path go? Is there anything over here? There's logs. I don't really see any- Ew. Yeah, just more logs. Oh man, this is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. I can't go that way anymore. Okay, let's go back to that cabin. Okay. Guess I'm gonna have to warm up and probably try and figure out where to go next. But uh, let's go back this path. Ooh, there we go. Is there anything else that way? I don't think so. It seems like this just turns around like a, like a cul-de-sac, you know? Yeah, you can see it's like in the shape of a P right there, like the Patreon logo. I don't think there's anything. Is there? Oh, there's a thing. Uh, oh, I can start a fire here. Stay outside. I don't know if I want to use another log there, do I? And another fire starter. Don't think I want to. Uh, oh, wait, what the? What's under here? Uh, I guess that's something. Can't take that shovel, can't take that tire. Let's go back inside. Oh, whoa, how this door close? <gasps> Spooky. Maybe it was just a wind. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Is there anything inside of here I might be missing? I don't know. All right, let's just chill out inside of here for right now. Let's put our camera up. Let's go out. Let's see. What else do we have here? Chewable inventory. Polaroid film. I have 29 of those matches. I have 11 matches, apparently. Pinster thing. Fire starter, chains, log. What could I do? I need to heal my wounds, it seems. So how would I be able to do that? Don't think I have anything there consumable. Lock box, yeah. What about this? Oh, a key is required to open up the lock box. Okay. Is there anything here? Looks like a wadded up newspaper there. Lawnmower, coffee right there. That uh, looks like pants, maybe. Don't think I need pants right now. <laughs> Got some uh, boxes and there's a bag. I don't think I can do anything with that bag though. Hmm. Guess if anything, I can just stay by the warm fire and stay nice and warm, comfortable. And that's pretty much it for right now. And I guess we can go back out and turn that out. Is that it? Yeah, I can't do anything else. That's crazy out there. Hmm. All right. We do. Uh, we have documents. Irabel. I Isabel's photo. I think I need that right now. The map. Where am I on this map? Let's see. Oh, there I am at the very bottom. At Manistan Sud. But I don't think I can continue on, can I? Because I can't go down that other path. Seems like there's a hospital over there. Up, uh, just south of Lac Amapatek. At a... At a <laughs> there's probably Canadian fellows making fun of how I'm pronouncing these things. If you even want to call that pronouncing... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're, we're kind of far away. Should probably, uh... Don't really know where I should go next. Equipment, we have camera, map, journal. Don't really have anything else there. There's the journal, there's the map. Inventory, don't think I have anything else in my inventory worthwhile, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Hmm. Alright, well... I think we're good on this. We can put that up for right now. Alright, did I just... Oh, I thought I dropped the map. <laughs> I don't want to do that, though. Hmm. I do wonder if, because we did pick up those chains. Can we, oh, there you go. We're nice and warm now. I bet uh, the wind or a ghost is going to close that door behind me, right? Oh, yeah, look at that. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> Let's go back to the truck, though. I'm not healed up, but we do have a chain. I wonder if I can get the chain and try and unstuck my truck. Maybe. I'm like, it is still running, right? Wait, what if I put the chain in there? Deposit the chain. Uh, do I have a chain? I don't have a chain I could put there, huh? Hmm, interesting. Guess I can't do that. How would I get this truck out of here? Oh, wait. <gasps> Late. Ooh. Just like I thought. There we go. How am I going to do this? Am I holding on to the chain? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, wait. Am I going to be unstucking that car or am I unstucking the truck? Because I need to unstuck the truck because I couldn't. I can't move the truck right now. Okay, I just leave the chains down there. Hmm. Can we go in the truck now? Uh, bad shape needs to heal his wounds, warm up his body before going any further. Hmm, why well, just lay down the chain? Ah, uh, yeah. 
kind of confuzzled what we're doing here now. Yeah, we really need to get out of this crash if we want to continue on that road like I saw earlier. Alright, let's head back. See if we can find anything else over here at this little cabin. Maybe we could find something, uh... It really doesn't seem like there's anything over there. Let's keep going around the cabin. We do have this boat. We do have this, 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 like, thing. I don't even know what you'd call that. We do have this guard tower here. This guard tower doesn't really seem to have anything inside of it. We would climb to the very top. And this seems to be a frozen pond. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything else right there with the guard tower. Don't think there's anything here in this little... Little circular area. Okay, let's go back inside the cabin and get some warmth. I can feel it's getting colder. Let's get another log. <laughs> that seems like an infinite pile of logs right there. Let's close the door. There we go. Stay nice and warm. Feed the fire if we need to. I think we're good, though. Alright. Let's get our, uh, warmth up. See if there's any other tools here I could pick up. I don't think so. There's just that lantern. Might as well keep that lantern nice and lit. Keep it nice and lit up inside of here. There's a propane thing. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's anything else here. It's like milk bottles and things of oil. I don't think there's anything else I could really use. I, I laid down the chains. I don't think I have anything I could heal myself up with, right? Uh, not seeing anything here. I feel like I'm missing something here. Let's go back to the journal. Uh, case of vandalism. Blah, blah, blah. We should probably worry about that bit a little bit later. Here we go. The crash. One or two. An accident. I haven't been this shaken up since Korea. The abandoned car. There it is right there. I sketched that bad boy down. So I guess I didn't need to take a picture of it. Who was the driver of the other car? Whoever it was, they don't have a snowball chance in hell if they intend to continue on foot. Besides, why did they leave so suddenly? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. A nice little bit of poetry on the back of a beautiful face. That reckless driver was also a melancholic. Huh. A locked box. Would it be wrong to look inside? Surely I would find a clue as to who that reckless driver was. I still need to find the key, though. Yeah. I don't have any more information on that, it seems. Huh. Alright. What about over here? There's that. Okay, biography. I guess that's me. I'm the PI. Yep, 42. Origin, Montreal. And uh, there's William Hamilton. There's no one else here in the book. Okay, I really feel like I'm missing something right here. I need to find something to heal me up, and then I guess I can go into the truck. But right now, I'm not seeing anything to heal me up other than that, uh, that alcohol right there. Hey, dude. <laughs> All right, well, I really feel like I'm missing something, so let's investigate a little bit more. I don't think it has anything to do with that thing, though. But we do have a pretty good amount of warmth right now. Let's work with this warmth. Go back to the truck, maybe? Maybe go back to the tr crash car and see if there's anything else in there that we might have missed, you know? Can't do anything here, can I? Yep. Bad shape needs to heal his wounds before going back in there, blah blah blah. Deposit can't deposit anything else here. And as far as the chains on the truck, I, I, I can't really do anything with that, can I? Hmm. Wonder if there's anything here. There's a log. Can't get past that, uh... <gasps> oh, he has a... Something in the trunk? <gasps> oh, first aid. First aid. Can I open the trunk? How do I open the truck? He probably needs a sort of latch or something in here to open it, because the trunk is technically open right now. I really need to open that bad boy up. He has some first aid. I need that. I need to, oh, here we go. Open up the trunk. There we go. First aid for my wounds. Take it. <gasps> All right. Probably go back to the cabin and take it, or I could take it right now, I think. Let's try and take it right now. Consumables. First aid. There you go. It's going to heal me up all the way. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Glad I came back to the car. I really felt like I missed something there, and I was right. See if we can uh, get this truck out of here now with the chains attached and everything. All right. Let's see if we can put this bad boy into reverse. All right. Oh, look at that! It's working. What? What was the chain doing? Oh, jeez! Oh, 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 oh! I'm going to crash again. I'm going to cro. Oh, 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 almost just crash again. All right, let's get back on the road. On the road again. Blah 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 blah. On the road again. Oh, man, why am I driving in such bad v visibility? I can barely see in front of me, like 20 feet. Man, I need to slow down. Jeez. <laughs> there you go. Oh, whoa, yeah, I can, like, not even see right now. It's like pure whiteness, like one foot in front of me. Carl's military training had made him a very punctual man. Being late to his meeting with Hamilton was out of the question. Hmm. Well, I'm going to be a little bit more late than usual because it's terrible visibility. I don't want another crash to happen. Oh, what's that say? What's that sign say? 
<gasps> Manistan Regent. Oh, almost crashed. Spread out on a few acres of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes, the Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. Hmm. All right, man, we need to slow down. All right, don't want to slip and die again. Down this beaten path. Seems like I'm accelerating even though I'm not hitting the W button. The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. All right. Oh, God, I'm about to crash again. <laughs> okay. Whew. Looks like we're loading into a new area. There you go. All right. Need to fuel up, it seems. Oh, what is this? Another closed path. Oh, here's general. Oh, Megasan general store, it seems. And got a gas station. That's good. 